Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here with a super quick announcement. I recently reviewed this gaming greats Darth Maul from Battlefront 2 and I really, really like the figure. I liked it so much that I've actually picked up a second one to give away. Keep an eye out on the channel. Once we hit 1,500 subs, I'll be giving it away. When we hit 1,500, I'll do an announcement video and we'll go from there on instructions on how to enter. Basically, it'll be a random comment generator thing, but on that video at 1,500 subs. So tell a friend, you know, spread the word. We have a little over 100 and then we're there. So let's go ahead and get the channel to 1,500 subs and we'll give away Old Master Darth Maul. Super excited. Let's get into whatever this video is. Here we are, a review years in the making. We finally have in front of us the Black Series Arc Trooper 5s, a fan favorite Clone Wars character. Hasbro has given us Arc Trooper after Arc Trooper after Arc Trooper, none of them being 5s. Echo has been lonely on that Clone Wars shelf for years. So let's get into it, see if 5s is a worthwhile pickup, see if he's one that you need to add to the shelf. <laughs> Let's take a look at the packaging. So this is your Black Series plastic-free packaging. We are getting to where the new figures are coming in plastic windows again, but there's a few of these plastic frees that still need to squeak their way out of the system, one of them being ARC Trooper 5s. Fortunately, that's just how it worked out for him. But he features your Black Series logo up top above a render of fives, looking pretty good. You have your Clone Wars logo, Art Trooper 5's Warning 4 Plus Hasbro Plastic Free Packaging. This side of the box features artwork of fives holding his blasters, looking awesome, wearing the Season 4, 5, and 6 helmet. Not the one that comes in the box, that's misleading. This side of the box features that render of fives below the Black Series logo, just showing that he is a true 6 inch tall figure in all of his accessories blowing themselves about plastic-free packaging. That definitely went over so well. Around back, you have your Black Series logo, your render of fives again, and then a bio about fives. Pause and read whichever language best applies to you. Underneath that, he is number 16 in the Clone Wars line. There's a bunch of legal stuff below that with an international sticker. This came from an international seller who I'm not going to name because I hate him. Comes with a Disney and Hasbro logo there. Barcode and legal stuff underneath there. And no window, just a hanger tab up top. So standard plastic-free packaging stuff. Nothing to talk about here. Also, a special thanks to Obi Shan in the 1313 Discord. He hooked me up with this. He ended up getting a spare, and I missed the pre-orders, so it worked out great. So thank you, Obi Shan. Here's fives out of the box. Let's go ahead and start by looking at his accessories. So. He comes with the standard clone pistols and a pair. We've seen these many a time before. They're just in black plastic. They look good. He features two working holsters, and they fit in nice. And he only features a trigger finger on the right hand. Hasbro's done it again. I talk about it every time we get an ARC Trooper or a Captain or Commander, and I will every time going forward until it's fixed. The left hand features a trigger finger that's molded into the hand. If you want him to hold the pistol, in a completely incorrect manner, then he absolutely can with the finger not in the trigger hole. If you want it to be correct, Hasbro says you can go fuck yourself because they're not going to accommodate that for you. It's a reused mold. There's not a single new piece on this figure whatsoever, but there was absolutely not any tooling budget whatsoever to modify the hand. So screw you for wanting a quality product. And the solution is to take a razor knife and just slice the finger loose from the rest of the hand. But the point being that I really shouldn't have to. They should have really thought about that. So he also comes with a helmet. Now, they it feels like they're doing this on purpose. They gave us the Jesse earlier this year with a completely incorrect helmet mold being this one. Now, this one applies to fives strictly from the Citadel arc in Season 3. It would have been nice if we'd have gotten the helmet without the fin, but unlike Jesse, where it was just completely wrong, this at least fits one appearance, except the deco on the front, the like the eel mouth, is so tiny, it doesn't vibe at all. Um, it's just completely and accurately done. Looking at the artwork on the side of the box, you see it goes from like center of each eye to center of each eye, and like it should be way wider, way bigger, and it just doesn't work. So not really super keen on how that deco turned out. They shrunk it a bit, but at least it's there. I mean, I'll, I'll give them that. So it's it's all right. He features a working range finder and a silver plastic, and that's nice. So it's not as bad as the Jesse helmet, but they definitely did the Echo helmet best out of all of them. And that sucks because he is like an ARC trooper for like 30 minutes of content total. We'll set that next to him and go ahead and bring the figure up. 
and let you take a look at that likeness here. So even though he's an animated character, they have stylized him realistically, so giving him the Tamura Morrison likeness, and I feel it comes across really well here. I like how it looks a lot. They've captured his goatee very well. He has his number five tattoo on his right temple. Looks excellent. And yeah, I'm just really liking it here. He also does give you that younger Tamora Morrison vibe because he is a younger clone. He was from one of those squads that, you know, they kind of just said, hey, you're basically trained. Get out there. And uh, it, it came out pretty good. I'm liking it. So really digging how that looks. He kind of looks like he's swimming in those shoulder pads, but that's kind of accurate. You know, these arc troopers get very, you know, buried in bulky armor. But uh, it looks very good. The shoulder, the chest armor looks like it's glued on, centered. They were having issues with Echo and I believe Fordo, where they were gluing those on a little crooked. So it's nice that they've corrected that on a lot of these later releases. Looking elsewhere, He's got some pretty accurate paint deco throughout, I will say. He has this kind of like blue triangle hidden behind the pouch there on the chest armor, but it looks good. Blue stripes going down both arms and then gray on the gauntlets and back of the gloves. Not really any weathering to be spoken of. There's a little scuff in the blue there, but I think that's more of a quality control versus an actual on-purpose thing. Because there's no on-purpose weathering anywhere else, which is nice. Um, he has a gray comma with these blue angled designs on each side looking excellent pouches are sculpted on very nice i like how those look he has white thighs with knee with blue knees and then gray shins with the blue stripes around there it just looks looks good i mean it looks like arc trooper fives so i i i look at that and i'm like hey it's that guy um but yeah it's a little bit of a shame that we've had this body mold for this long and like we're finally getting the character but I'm glad that we're getting it. it. It was about time. So let's run through some articulation. Now, you guys probably have an ARC Trooper at this point, so I'm probably not going to give you anything too super new. Without the helmet on, he can look up that high and down that far, rotate side to side, and get some pretty good pivoting action in there. Putting the helmet on, getting it worked down, that does hinder the movement up bit, but there's still a pretty good range, so it's not ruining anything. His arms come out to a T-pose where there's a butterfly joint, 360 rotation at the shoulder, although it kind of has to swing out and around the shoulder pad, as mentioned, butterfly joint. Single jointed elbows go a little past 90 and rotate, 360 at the wrists with the left hinging in and out, and the right hinging up and down. Mid-torso ball joint, allowing him to crunch that far forward, that far back, side to side rotation and pivot. He can spread his legs out that far, go not much about that far forward, not much back. There's an upper thigh rotation hidden in the armor there with single jointed knees that go past 90 and rotate. His feet can point basically straight down, pretty far forward, and there's a forward facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some pretty decently wide stances with both feet flat on the floor. So let's sit him back there. And let's do some size comparisons. So let's go ahead and bring in, it's inaccurate to any time that we see him in ARC Trooper armor, but since Hasbro hasn't given us any options, here is early Clone Wars Anakin, looking really good. Here is clone Captain Rex. Get him to stand up. And then here from, also from the Clone Wars anniversary line that they did in the 50th Lucasfilm wave, is Arc Trooper Echo, which of course, let's put him side by side there, makes for an excellent pair. And if any of you go for the AliExpress bootleg clones, where they've been giving us a lot of named clone repaints that Hasbro just refuses to, this shot needed to happen. They have given us... Every missing member from the 501st Umbara team. We have Dogma, we have Kicks, we have, or we have Tough, I'm sorry, Kicks, Jesse, and Hardcase. I mean, that completes the squad now that we have Fives here. Like, you know, the, the Rex and Fives are probably the only Hasbro ones we're ever going to get for this whole group. And Umbara is such an awesome arc. This completes that whole set here, and I'm really digging it. So check out the channel. I've done reviews on all of the bootlegs if you're in any way curious, but I, I highly recommend them.
So, end of the day, what do I think of the ARC Trooper 5s? I am loving it. I, I know I've got my gripes, I know the helmet's a little inaccurate, and the trigger finger always bugs me, but I am just so happy to have this guy finally in the collection. I have been waiting for what feels like a very long time, and overall they've done a pretty good job. This ARC Trooper body, other than that left trigger finger, never really disappoints. It's always a fun figure to pose, and this is just some much-needed representation in the collection. I'm really happy with it. Again, a special thanks to Obi Shan from the 1313 Discord for hooking me up with this. Also, let's go ahead and give a thanks to Luke Ness Monster. He did his whole campaign, give us Black Series 5s, and it paid off. All we had to do was beg and plead for like three years, right? But it worked out in the end. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy he's in the collection. Do I recommend him? Absolutely. I will say it's absolutely despicable that Hasbro allowed such a desirable character to be a Walmart exclusive. That's got to be the next hashtag is ban Walmart exclusives. They are the worst. So I'm going to do a whole video on it. And uh, anyway, that's going to be something going on shortly. But for now, I'm very happy with it. I recommend it. Good luck getting your hands on it. So I'm going to go work on some other videos. Thanks a bunch for watching. It means a lot that you did. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Particularly subscribe if you want to be in on that Darth Maul figure giveaway. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.